Aloha and welcome to Finnegan's 411. I'm Lynn Finnegan and I'm the Republican leader on the House uh, of Representatives. What I wanted to talk to you about today is about this challenge that we have in trying to find money for uh, furlough Fridays. I'm going to show you a clip. The problem that I face is the Department of Education along with the Board of Education have not prioritized what they want funded, therefore they cut uh, instruction days and therefore they threatened last year that they were going to shut all schools down for 30 days at the ending of the school year. Listen to this. You know I was in a little bit of disbelief when uh, I was hearing some of the um, the comments I guess made by our chair of in the works we've been reviewing the different programs since last year um, how long is it taking you to go through this 500,000 and above line item list? Um, not long. I mean, it, it basically <laughs> went over the, that item list in a meeting. So about two, three hours. And that was the first time that you de that that the board decided to put it on a, the agenda? And go through every single line, yes. And this is after last year when there was a threat to close the school down, uh, the school system down for a month early? Yes. And where was the priority in looking at other areas to shave some costs? Well, honestly, uh, the way the board works is we take our recommendations from the department, we analyze it, scrutinize it, and we make a decision. Sometimes it's about uh, individual board members having more knowledge than other board members where we bring additional information to the table and say maybe we should reduce this or cut that. Okay. What we didn't want to do is have um, have to make this kind of decision now in that kind of vacuum. Um, in the past, we've, the 10, um, 12, 13 years I've been on the board, we've never gone through this kind of process, never ever. It's always been, and, and mind you, it's typically been relatively good years. So it's, it's either about how much do we cut within you know, 20 to $50 million, or how much do we add between 20 to $50 million. So our discussions have never been detailed about what is in the entire budget. And so my uh, decision this year in working with um, Superintendent Hamamoto at the time was to go through every single line because the department at some point we felt was going to have to make a recommendation to the board, how to, what to cut where. And I, I did not want board members to feel that they didn't have the background of everything in the budget to feel comfortable about making decisions on what the department is, is either proposing or what we should change. But Chair, we made a decision to cut instruction days. I don't understand that priority. If that's number one on the list of priorities, why is it that we went to that before we looked at any of these other program items in detail? How do I say this? Uh, well, number one, because the amount of cut that we had to make was still significant enough that we, we realized that even having looked, because, because we're a, we are able to look at our budget, just not in as much detail as we are doing so now. So with that information, we already knew that there was not enough areas to cut, even if you did it vertically, to, in, to be able to um, mitigate the dollar amount that we still needed to cover through labor savings, whether it's through class size increase or through something like furloughs. Understand, but last year there was a threat to close down all schools 30 days early. At that point in time, there was a big, huge sign that you had to look at even, f and then you compare the furloughs and it's $5.5 .5 million a day. Even if you took it day by day to try and restore a day back, you have to start somewhere, and I cannot believe that maybe <coughs> one meeting was was committed to five hundred to to looking over five hundred thousand dollar and up program line items, and we couldn't do that six, seven, eight months ago. I think, Mr. Chair, could I request that if we if we don't have something that we have a due date so that we can you know ha be better prepared in in what we have to present to you? Yeah. My question would be this, if you have a list, why wasn't there action taken to save those furlough days? Knowing that you have these, I understand that we all have to make difficult decisions, but now you're looking at number one priority versus last on the priority. 
and that decision wasn't made. So this is what I mean by we need to go in and prioritize, put students first, above all else, put students first, restore the instruction days, make sure we have quality education, but also make sure that when the Department of Education spends the most two plus billion dollars um, in our education system, when the students have stayed the same, when our, our scores relatively on the NAEP test scores have relatively stayed the same, um, we have to make sure that we are prioritizing our spending that affects the students the most, and especially furlough Fridays and instructional days and quality of education. So thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you tune in next time to Finnegan's 411.